about a year ago I made a video called LSD Three Dimensional Perspectives. This is the type of stuff I actually do as a PhD student and I want to make more content about this. Thus I present you with the following talk. Uh, psilocin binding to serotonin receptor in 3D part 1. This talk will look at how uh, the active compound uh, psilocin from psychedelic mushrooms uh, binds to serotonin receptors inside of your brain. As I talk about in a lot of my videos, molecules and receptors are three-dimensional, and you begin to understand this when you take organic chemistry, although in OCHEM, when you take the class, you generally draw molecules like this in a two-dimensional space. This is the two-dimensional representation of the psychedelic compound psilocin, and you'll notice that it has this tryptamine backbone, and it also has a positively charged amine because inside of a cellular environment at physiological pH, uh, that amine becomes protonated. This is a more accurate representation of psilocin. This is what it looks like in three-dimensional space. If we spin it around, we can see that um, hydrogen in the back that gets protonated. And then we also have the serotonin receptor. This is a serotonin 2C receptor. And here's what it looks like in three-dimensional space. Now let's look at what psilocin actually looks like when it's bound to three subtypes of serotonin uh, receptors, being the serotonin 2A, 2B, and 2C receptor. Here is uh, psilocin in the middle bound to the serotonin 2A receptor, and we have these um, interacting amino acid residues shown in the photo within more important uh, interactions in green, purple, and black. Uh, the first residue interaction that we'll talk about is the pi pi interaction between the indole ring and phenylalanine 340. Uh, the next interaction is a salt bridge with aspartic acid 155. This is a well documented interaction that um, the Nichols paper about serotonin 2A um, crystal structure shows um, when they bind N bomb to it. And then the last interaction is the hydrogen bond with serine 242, which is also a known um, hydrogen bond that the Nichols uh, paper predicts. This is serotonin uh, 2B receptor, and we've got psilocin inside of there. And we can actually see some of the interactions are very much the same, they're just in different positions. For example, the first residue interaction is the pi pi interaction with phenylalanine 341. So between 2A and 2B, it's, it's the same phenylalanine, just in a different position, a slightly different position in the receptor. We've got the salt bridge with our aspartic acid 135, and then we've got the hydrogen bond with 3-anine 140. Notice how in the 5-HT2A, this 3-anine is actually a serine, but 3-anine still has the ability to hydrogen bond, so it does interact well with the um, NH group. Um, in psilocin. And lastly we have um, psilocin bound to the serotonin 2C receptor and we've got some interactions. We've got the pi pi interaction with phenylalanine 228 in this case. Okay, We've got the salt bridge with aspartic acid 134 and we also have a hydrogen bond with uh, 3-anine 139 in this case. So basically what's interesting is it tells us that the sequence homology between the three receptors is quite similar. There's really just that difference in the mutation um, of where you have that hydrogen bond with the indole and 2A it occurs at serine 242, in 2B it occurs at 3-anine, and in 2C it also occurs at 3-anine. So that changing in that amino acid residue does slightly change the binding conformation, but Overall, it's a very similar conformation um, between the three subtypes of receptors. And as usual, I like to give you guys a picture of what this actually looks like in the three-dimensional space, the drug binding to the receptor. So here is the uh, serotonin 2C receptor, and we have psilocin in the middle, bound to the orthosteric uh, binding site, which is also where serotonin, LSD, and lots of mescaline derivatives likely bind. And now let's look at a zoomed in picture of the um, 
Wigan receptor binding site that we just uh, talked about. So let's look at Silas and balance a 5-HT2C receptor and three-dimensional interactions. And here's what it is. We've got Silas in the middle. I've stripped away all the helices to make the picture a little bit simpler to understand. And we're just looking at the hydrogen bond experience between uh, serotonin uh, 2C receptor and um, Silosin. The uh, first hydrogen bond interaction was the um, aspergine 331. And this sits at 1.95 angstroms. A hydrogen bond between a ligand and a receptor will usually sit between 2.8 and 3 angstroms. That's a pretty ideal bond length for this uh, nice, beautiful hydrogen bond, so to speak. Uh, the next hydrogen bond is uh, with 3 enine 139. It sits at 1.99 angstroms, also a really nice, beautiful hydrogen bond. And the last one is aspartic acid 134, also just a really lovely hydrogen bond between the uh, protonated hydrogen there on the uh, tertiary nitrogen and the oxygen on uh, aspartic acid 134. And that is the end of part one of this video. We'll probably have a few more parts of this video where we dive even deeper into some of the molecular mechanics of what is going on when psychedelics bind to receptors. See you then.